Hello, I'm Dr. Molesky, and I'd like to welcome you to this weight loss presentation. I want to let you know that you made a very wise decision to watch this workshop. Today you're going to learn real answers to your weight loss resistance problem. I find people that are very frustrated because they're looking for answers but can't find any real help. I had a woman come to my office not too long ago who sat there in tears telling me how horrible she felt. Weight gain, depression, fatigue, headaches. Her life is a wreck. She went to her doctor and two specialists and they all told her the same thing. Your lab tests are all normal. There's really nothing wrong with you. Uh, they advised her to take anxiety medication. Well, she was really excited to learn about our integrative approach to health. Integrative approach is a more alternative, natural approach to chronic conditions. Uh, to have this work for you, you need to do two things. The first is you need to think outside the box. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you got. You've got to do something different. And that being said, the second thing is you need to take personal responsibility for your health. You've got to figure it out. If you're going to wait for the government, an insurance company, or a pharmaceutical company to come up with some magic pill or answer for you, you're going to have a long wait. Answers are available. There's a lot going on in alternative care now that gives you answers to chronic problems. Well, why should you listen to me? Well, I live and breathe this stuff 365 days a year. I just love what functional medicine can do for serious people looking for serious answers. I've been practiced for over 36 years. I'm a graduate of the American Functional Neurology Institute and I'm board certified in integrative medicine. I've spent thousands of hours in postgraduate education learning about alternative health care approaches. Why does this work? Basically, alternative care works because the human body is an amazing creation that's designed to heal itself. And it can do that naturally and can heal itself of just about anything. Some people have even heard cancer is being you know, healed naturally or miraculously. The body is an amazing creation. Um, what makes this approach different? Uh, this is not a typical one-size-fits-all approach. Uh, it's not about intense exercising or starving yourself to death. Uh, it's not an out-of-the-box meal thing either like Nutrisystems, nor is it like Weight Watchers where you're counting calories all the time. As a matter of fact, you can eat all you want of the right foods. Now, a lot of people think they have the answer, you know, exercise more and eat less. Well, that's not really the answer. I'm sure you all know somebody who's skinny as a rail and eats anything they want, they never exercise, and they don't gain an ounce. Then you know the other person, and it's probably you, that watches what they eat, eat nothing, exercise crazy, and can't lose an ounce at all. I mean, what is the reason for that? What's the answer? Uh, really, the answer to this comes into how is your body functioning? What's your metabolism doing? And your metabolism dictates everything about your system, and there's lots of different things in your body that affect your metabolism. You can liken the body to uh, a machine in some ways. If you open up one of these fancy uh, Swiss watches and you look in the back of it, you're going to see a lot of gears. And those gears have all connected and they all have to be working right for that watch to work correctly. And so uh, for that watch to be working and there's a little tiny gear in there, if it's not working right, the watch will start running slow or too fast. And when that gear starts running slow, another gear is affected, another gear is affected, and it'll get to the point where it doesn't work at all. Well, the human body is like that as well. Your metabolism is key to all the gears working right. And the key to what we do is to find out which one of your gears is wrong. Is it one, two, three, or four, or five of them? If we can correct the function of your body, we can make your body work right, lose weight, stay at a normal weight. So, uh, what do we do with uh, malfunction? What causes malfunction? Um, your body is barraged from the day you were born with stressors. Chemical, physical, and emotional stressors beat at you every day. And your body withstands it. And you're young, and your teens feeling great. Uh, people say, gee, when I turned 30, all heck broke loose. Well, it shouldn't be the fact that you're 30 years old, but the body just couldn't take it anymore. It just took all the pounding it could take. And when it stops working right, your body malfunctions. And it it's not working the way it used to and things start going wrong. And it's very natural for your body to create a symptom when it malfunctions. It's kind of like the dashboard of your car. All of a sudden you see the, the you know, they call them idiot lights go on, but the lights flashing on is telling you something's wrong. Well, your body is going to give you a symptom to tell you something's wrong. Fix it. And uh, here's what happens in America today. <clears throat> let's say your body uh, starts malfunctioning and one of the gears is going wrong and it creates a symptom, let's say it's headaches. And you get a headache, you go to your doctor and say, gee, doc, I've got these tremendous headaches. The light bothers my eyes. Uh, I have to go in a dark room. I get nauseous, vomiting. 
and your doctor is going to say to you, well, that's migraine headaches. But we have all kinds of drugs for that. We've got Amitrex. We've got Percocet. We're giving Botox injections for that now. So hopefully that medication will relieve your symptom. But it hasn't really addressed what caused the symptom in the first place. And that gear is still bad, causing another gear to go down. And so six months, a year later, you're going to develop another symptom. The body's going to say to you, wow, uh, let's say it's acid reflux. <clears throat> you go into your doctor and you say, gee, I've got gas and bloating and stomach uh, problems. And the doctor will say, well, it sounds like acid reflux. We've got all kinds of drugs for that. We've got Percocet. I'm sorry, we've got Prilosec, Protonix, Nexium, all kinds of drugs for that. Hopefully, it relieves that symptom. But you notice it still hasn't done anything to address the gear that's bad. What's wrong? What's malfunctioning in your body? It's not fixing the function. A year down the road, another symptom is going to come up. Uh, let's say you develop aches and pains all over your body. Well, you go to your doctor, you tell him about your aches and pains, and he's going to tell you, we got Lyrica, Cymbalta, all kinds of drugs for that. Well, what happens here is you got, you're here, you have a person taking three medications, no better than they were before, masking symptoms with side effects, all to maintain a poor quality of life. I have people come in my office that are taking eight, nine, ten medications. Here's what's bad about this. The World Health Organization will tell you that in the United States, we are number one in acute care, and we are really good at that. If you need to have a surgery done, you're in an auto accident, something like that, no place better to be in the United States. But those same studies will tell you that in health, we're ranked 37th in the world. So there's 36 nations that patients are, people are healthier than we are. Why is that? Well, the reason is we use, we treat everything with an acute protocol. And when you have a chronic condition like weight loss resistance, uh, diabetes, uh, chronic fatigue, uh, sh blood sugar imbalances, whatnot, when you treat them with a, an acute care thing, you're just treating a symptom. You never fix what's wrong. You should always ask yourself the question, why? Why is my blood pressure up? Why is my sugar off? Fix the function. That's what integrative care is about. The secret. There is no secret. It's about finding out what's bad in your body. Fix your body. Get it functioning right. Your metabolism basically is going to tell you uh, and going to help you to burn fat and to um, digest. Uh, it's just simple as that. It's got to work properly. To find out what's wrong with your metabolism, we have to find out which gear is right, and we need to run the proper test to do that. So again, what makes this approach different? Why are you wrong? What's wrong with your body? Why is it malfunctioning? Uh, get the metabolism right and return you to the life you deserve. I mean, that's so important because we just, well, you know what it's like. You, you wear clothes that you think look good on you, not what you want to wear. Uh, you're always loosening the notches in the belt, love handles, all that. It shouldn't be that way. You know, that being said, uh, one of the reasons I got into this is because, uh, you know, being in practice for 35 years, well, 36 years now, uh, People I haven't seen in a long time will come into me and say, hey, doc, uh, putting on a few pounds. And I thought, hmm. But you know, when the third or fourth, fifth person comes in saying that, it makes you think, hmm. And so I looked at the scale and I thought, you know, I've, I've gained weight over the years. And so I thought, well, I'll see what I can do about it. So I watched what I ate, exercised like crazy, and guess what? I didn't lose anything. So I've actually used this approach myself. And it's really nice now. I mean, I've lost. 30 pounds since I did this, and I've stayed off 30 pounds, and no more love handles, and just so much better. Uh, feels so good to, to be slimmed down and, and feeling energetic like I was you know, 20 years ago. So um, there are some common causes of malfunction in the body, and uh, we'll go through these things. There are several of them. The first is adrenal problems, which would be cortisol. And a lot of you know if your cortisol levels are high, there's no way your body's going to burn fat. Every single cell in your body has got a cortisol receptor. And uh, cortisol is elevated with stress. If you've got stress in your life, you can bet your cortisol level is going to be up. We need to lower that down if that's the case. Uh, you may have borderline anemias, and if you're not getting enough oxygen to your body cells, body's not going to work right. We need to investigate that. Uh, blood sugar balances. Your blood sugar should be between 88, I'm sorry, 82 and 99. Uh, if it's above that or below that, the brain's not getting the proper glucose it needs. The body isn't working right. Uh, inflammation is very important. Uh, your body can get inflamed. Your brain can get inflamed. Uh, your body cells get inflamed. It's just uh, it's like having a blowtorch on you. It's not good to have inflammation in your system. And there are natural ways of getting that down. Uh, your gut function and your liver 
have to be working right. Some people will get fatty liver or leaky gut syndrome. You may have heard those terminologies. If you have those, you need to detoxify your liver. You need to fix the gut. Uh, poor brain function. Your brain it controls everything in your body. And if your brain is not working right, it's nothing's going to work right. It's like the master computer. Uh, there's receptors in the brain, leptin uh, uh, regulators that tell your body that, hey, I'm full. And if it's not working right, you keep eating because you don't feel full. Uh, there's just so much to be said for that. Uh, and of course, then there's thyroid. Your thyroid, if you're hypothyroid, you're going to have trouble with weight. And uh, our, what we would do is look at and see why is the thyroid not working right and what can we do to help it function properly. So let's go into testing. I'm sure many of you have been told, gee, all your tests are normal, there's nothing wrong with you, but you just have all these problems. Uh, normal ranges you get on a blood test are based on the lab average, which is an average at that lab. And so if there's 100,000 people that had that test done, they just get the results and divide it by 100,000. And that's a lab average. And if you come back being normal, you're normal for that average. But you have to ask yourself, what's, what is that about? I mean, do I want to be compared to sick people? Because those are the people that go down to a lab to have it checked. Uh, people with cirrhosis uh, of the liver, uh, all kinds of different diseases are having their blood tested there. So the American Academy of Clinical Chemists and the Endocrine Society got together and said, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're looking for health. So they went and they evaluated healthy people, and they found that these ranges, instead of being out here, are much narrower. And it makes more sense to compare yourself to healthy people than to the lab average of what you get. So here's what you find. Uh, this is a TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. In the uh, Quest Labs in Tallahassee, uh, it should be between 0.45 and, and 4.5. A functional range is 1.8 to 3.0. And so you can see it's much tighter there. And so you may be at the upper end or the lower end where those stars are and, uh, here. And um, here you'd be considered normal, but yet you're not really normal for a healthy person. And here you can be normal, but not really for a healthy person. This is where people slip between the cracks. They think their tests are normal, but they feel bad because they're hiding in here. Once they fall off the end of the chart, then they pop up as a problem. But by then, I mean, it's so well entrenched. So we do a complete testing. And the key to finding out which gears are wrong in your body, where's your body malfunctioning, is to run the proper tests. So what we do is a complete blood profile, and we're going to see a CBC with differential. We're going to look at panels. We'll look at a full thyroid panel. And it's so important to see a full thyroid panel, not just a couple tests. There's like 10 tests for a thyroid panel. Uh, we want to look at your immune system. How is your immune system working? Is there, are there hidden gut infections? Do you have parasites? There's, there's all kinds of issues that can cause your body to work wrong. Uh, liver panels are really important. Uh, you want to know how the liver is functioning. Do you have a fatty liver? It doesn't need to be detoxified. Uh, a lot of people have borderline anemias, and uh, a borderline anemia you know, may not be lab off, but it could be functionally off, and if you have an anemia, your B12 could be off, or your iron, and again, your body's not going to get the oxygen it needs to the cells. Um, many people in America have problems with their blood sugar uh, being too high or too low, usually too high. Uh, your kidney function is so important, everything about your body. When we run these tests, we run about 60 or 70 tests, and we look at everything about your system and it's just a nice objective sign of what's going on in my body and when we put you into functional ranges we find out what's causing the malfunctions. Uh, another common test we run is called an adrenal stress index test. It's a saliva test that tests your cortisol level four times a day. So four different times you take your uh, uh, saliva test and we send it off and it comes back and it shows us your cortisol rhythm and it should be high in the morning and lower at night and that would be a normal situation. Typically, it's actually inverted. We're well, at high at night, and we have people come in that have insomnia and blood sugar problems, and it's because of that inversion. So what we would do is we would analyze that and give you different nutrients or change diets to change that rhythm back to where it should be. Uh, we also look for food sensitivities. This is a huge inflammatory uh, aspect of the body. Uh, when if the food you're eating is you're sensitive to, it's going to inflame all your body cells. Uh, people are sensitive to gluten, dairy, eggs, yeast, and uh, soy. Uh, if you're sensitive to any of those food and you're eating it, it's uh, going to create an endless battle of feeling bad, not losing weight. Uh, it's so important if you are sensitive to dairy, not to eat dairy. And you can be checked for that. 
Uh, digestive system can be evaluated as well, and you want to look and see if there's any hidden infections in the gut. You can have parasites, viruses, bacteria, molds, yeast, uh, even uh, heavy metals uh, like mercury and lead can be in your system, can really affect the gears. So uh, what's included in the thyroid panel, uh, a complete thyroid panel? Most people come in with a, a TSH and a total T4, and that's about it. But in essence, there's a lot more tests that can be run. In addition to that, there's a free T4. There's a what's called an FTI test, which is a free thyroxine index. Uh, we can run a total T3, a free T3, a reverse T3, a T3 uptake. And all these different tests will tell us what is wrong with the thyroid function. Sometimes other things are causing the thyroid function. Oftentimes people come in, it's not their thyroid at all. It's really the blood sugar or the cortisol levels or something called homocysteine can be high. And that will affect the function of the thyroid. Uh, another thing which is checked is our antibodies. Um, there's a what's called TSH, a TBG, and a TPO antibody test. And these tests test you for an autoimmune problem. And so sometimes it's not a thyroid at all. It's really an autoimmune problem. Uh, oh, there's another test we do. It's called a TBG, which is a thyroid binding globulin. And that uh, is a protein carrier yeah, for the thyroid. So running a complete thyroid panel really, and the thyroid is so important for, for your metabolism, is really necessary to do. So once we have all that information and based on what we find, we may need you to uh, remove certain food from your diet. And then looking at all the other findings, we might need to support you nutritionally. And with nutritionally, we may give you an herb, a vitamin, a mineral. Uh, we don't use any drugs or uh, pharmaceuticals uh, with this approach. It's all natural, no side effects. Uh, we may need to improve the, uh, and the function of your liver, your gut, your adrenals, uh, your digestive system, your sugar metabolism, um, brain function, uh, all possibility. So um, something else uh, we do differently is we do functional neurology. And this is different, and most people have never had this done before. Uh, we would evaluate you with, during a, with a functional neurological examination, and we want to see that all brain quadrants, upper, lower, left, and right, are balanced. It's so important for the brain to be balanced. It's like having your computer working right. If the, bug, if the computer's not working right, nothing's working right. And if your brain's not working right, certainly you're going to have trouble with your body. Um, we oftentimes will find that a cerebellum is fatigued and it's not firing right and it can cause pains, dizziness, all kinds of different problems in the body. Uh, and there's different brain-based therapies that we do that will help to wake up these areas. Uh, a brain can get fatigued like anything through inflammation, uh, constant uh, feedback. It's always monitoring the same signal. It gets tired of hearing it and it can uh, just get sluggish on one side. And so what we basically do is wake it up. Um, also, how your brain's functioning can cause a weight loss resistance. Uh, if your brain isn't uh, firing properly, it's not telling you again if you're satisfied, it's satiation, all that. We live in a toxic society. We got chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, uh, heavy metals, all kinds of things that we're subjected to every day, and it has to filter through your liver and kidneys. And so you can have a lot of toxicity there. And uh, we would test you for that, identify those, and remove those out of your system as well. And what makes our office different? Uh, Basically, we want to leave no stone unturned to, to determine the cause of your imbalance. If your body's not working right, why is it not working right? Let's fix that, fix the function, fix the body. Now again, this approach is not for everyone. You must be willing to change your current habits. And you have to really want to get better. You want to improve the quality of your life. That's our ideal patient. If you've got that going for you, then we can work together very, very well. And if this is one of the biggest criteria we have on whether we accept you for care or not. Uh, I had a gentleman come in to see me years ago uh, when I first got in practice. And he was 93 years old. And he comes marching in, a little guy about five foot five and weighed about 120 pounds. And his 94-year-old wife comes walking in behind him. And they've been married for 71 years. Uh, he accused her of robbing the cradle. But they're a great couple. And he says to me, Doc, my back is killing me. I can't get anything done. Can you help me? So I said, oh, sure, come on back. And we worked on him. And he left there saying, hey, I feel so much better. And I said, that's great. Uh, let's check you next week and just make sure everything's OK. He says, well, I can't come in here next week. I said, well, why not? You know, he's 93 years old. He says, well, I'm too busy. And she says to me, he is too busy. And she pulls up this planner and puts it on her countertop and says, look at this. And I mean, it was unbelievable. Every single day had something penciled in every hour for the next two weeks. 
He says, may I stay busy, Doc? He says, on, on Friday mornings, I go down to the senior center to visit the old folks. I thought he's 93, he's visiting the old folks. I thought, this guy, this is my hero. I mean, I'd like to be like this guy when I'm 93. Oh, and when he's at the senior center, he played double-level chess with one of the guys there. I mean, double-level chess. Um, life is meant to be sweet. Uh, this guy's got a no walker, uh, no cane. I mean, we have way too much degeneration, too much chronic problems going on in America today. The body was designed to live long and live well. Um, a lot of people live with myths in their body, myths. And uh, I want to bust some of those out because some of these just, they're just senseless. All people come in and tell me they're too old. Well, how is too old to feel better? Uh, I have people come in that are 40 that think they're too old and some that are 80 that think they're too old. But I mean, to live each day is precious. Why suffer or not have a good quality of life because you think you're too old? Uh, another is, it's genetic. Sometimes it's genetic, but usually it's not. And I, I hear this a lot from people. And a lot of times what happens is we inherit a genetic tendency, we think it is, but it's really we inherited a lifestyle. Uh, you know, my grandmother had diabetes, my mother had diabetes, so I had to have it. Well, maybe you inherited their eating habits, their lifestyle. You know, a lot has to be said for that. There's also something called epigenetics that they're working with now in medicine where we find that we can actually turn on and off the expression of genes in a very natural way that's non-toxic. Uh, something called methyl groups, and uh, we would talk to you about that when you came in here. Uh, and my, my worst myth is that learn to live with it. People are told to learn to live with it, and that's just so sad. That's just giving up. And to learn to live with it is like saying, I'm, I'm living in the past, the world is flat, uh, there's no answers, I, I'm just stuck. And there's too much going on in medicine today with chronic care and, and helping things and the longevity that to, to just live with it. That being said, integrative care, uh, functional care is becoming much more popular. A lot of the major hospitals and uh, medical facilities are now have uh, integrative uh, departments. Uh, Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, Shands. Uh, Dr. Oz talks a lot of things about like this on his TV show. <coughs> so what's next? Here's what you do. Call the office for consultation. And they'll set you up with a consultation when you call in here. And what you do is you'd bring in blood tests and any other x-rays, MRIs, or whatever you have, and we would evaluate those. And during this consultation, we would talk to you about what your goals are, what your concerns are, and see if they jive with what we can help you with. We would review your blood tests and put them into functional ranges to see how you compare to healthy people. So important to do that. Uh, we would then review any of the intake forms you brought in. In your intake forms, there's about three of them that we have you do, and they, the way these questions are, are formed is they tell us and give us an idea whether you're having trouble with your liver, digestion, gallbladder, and what. Uh, we would then recommend, if indicated, that you have a functional neurological examination. And during this exam, we do not stick needles in you or anything. It's very painless, and it's, uh, it will show us how your nerve system is functioning. Then uh, what we would do is we would reschedule you to come back in again. At your second visit, we would uh, tell you whether we accept your case or not. And if we do, then we would go through and talk to you about uh, your results of your exam findings. We would talk to you about any additional tests you may need to have run. Uh, we would talk to you then about uh, what our approach would be to balancing your system and helping you with your weight loss resistance. Uh, we'd also go over any financial obligations that you may have. So call our office at 850-878-5636, schedule an appointment for a consultation. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain.